For thousands of years, humans have followed different scales of measuring time, be it the lunar calendar to keep track of the days or the sundials to keep track of the hours within the days. Humans have always had this innate drive to track time. And of course, without it, our civilization wouldn't be able to stand where it is today. But with recent discoveries in the field of science, many concepts and theories have been upturned by new ones. And so does in the case of tracking time. In the 1960s, scientists invented the atomic clock. Even though being a clock, this device functions on a relatively different concept than our normal clocks. A normal day on Earth has 86,400 seconds. But on an atomic clock, a second isn't defined as 86,400th part of an Earth day, but rather as the time it takes a cesium-133 atom at the ground state to oscillate precisely 9,192,631,770 times, making it a much precise measure of time. Why so? Well, atomic clocks deviate by one second only in 100 million years. While on the other hand, the Earth time or the universal time is quite unreliable due to the deviations in the speed of the Earth's rotation due to terrestrial or cosmic events. Usually, an Earth day is 0.002 seconds longer than the previous one. And if we consider this to keep on going, then in 1.5 years approximately, a day would increase by one second. And for this very purpose, scientists came up with the concept of a leap second. The entire world follows the UTC, or Coordinated Universal Time, which is measured with the help of an atomic clock. The fact that atomic clocks only deviate by one second in 100 million years put us all in a tough spot when the year increases by one second, on average every 1.5 years. That's a lot of maths, but that's where the leap second comes in. Every time the Earth time is about to cross the one second difference, a leap second or an extra one second is added to the watches around the globe to keep up with the difference. In history, this has been accomplished 27 times since 1962. But recently, sometime in 2016, it has been discovered that the Earth's speed of rotation hasn't been decreasing, but increasing, which resulted in the shortening of the day. For example, a Sunday in January only lasted for 23 hours, 59 minutes and 59.9998927 seconds. In fact, 2021 is expected to be 19 milliseconds shorter than 2020. Even though the amount is very small, it is yet a deviation from the equilibrium set between the UTC and the Universal Earth time. Even though some scientists say that it will take a while for the deviation to substantially increase if the same trend for shorter days continues. But the international community is wondering that whether or not a negative leap second would be needed. A negative leap second would work on the same concepts as that of a positive one, but instead of adding a second to the year, it shall reduce it by one and reduce a minute to 59 seconds. Of course, this would have massive implications on the industries and projects that need precise measures for time, such as satellites, aviation systems, and servers. As a matter of fact, the addition of a leap second in 2012 resulted in multiple worldwide server crashes. But the international community of scientists is still uncertain whether or not a negative leap second would be needed. But an official word from the timekeepers is still awaited. Let us know about your thoughts down below in the comment section and stay tuned for more. And if you're new, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell.